Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on understanding Pinnacle 21 issues in SDTM dataset. So we will, uh, please note that this video is part of the playlist which is titled as Pinnacle 21 issues. So if you are watching this video as the first video, I suggest you to watch the videos in the previous, uh, previous videos in this playlist because I have covered some details extensively in the previous videos. So in this video, we will see an issue which is called null value in sex variable marked as required. So in SDTM, the variables are classified as required, expected and permissible. A required variable is the one in which, which is the variable has to be present in the data set and it shouldn't have any null values on any of the records present in the data. So if and sex variable in SDTM DM is one such required variable. So it cannot contain any null values. So here I have created an example data. So from SDTM IG 3.3 again. So here on this record, if we see the value in sex variable is missing. So here I have copied the data from SDTM IG into an Excel file and I'm importing it into a SAS data set and then converting it into uh, an XPT file and then generating our P21 report. So in real time, you would be using the data set which you have created using your SDTM programs to run the P21 report on. So let us now go to the program which actually imports my file. And then so this program imports the data from that Excel sheet and converts it into an SAS data set and then further into an XPT file. So let us now go to that file. So I am using SDTM as the standard configuration 3.3 uh, as I am using the example data from SDTM IG 3.3. So I'll go and click on browse. I'll choose the XPT file which I have created. Let's click on open and then click on validate. It has generated around 12 messages. Let's go to that and then see. So let us go to the detail sheet. So here if we see on row 12, now we have the same message which we have seen as part of the beginning of this video. So it says null value in sex variable marked as required. So and it is also indicating as the row number in our XPT file on which the value is null. So we'll go and check and then whether that is actually the case. So we have seen that already. So on row four, the value in sex variable is missing. So as this is an expected variable and we'll check if we have missed it, like when we are programming a DTM DM or whether this is not present in the input raw data itself. So let's assume that this was absent in the raw data itself. And then we queried the data management team and then they have updated the field in the corresponding to sex in the raw data. And then we ran our updated uh, SDTM data set. Now let's assume that the value is now coming as M in this data set. So let us use this file and then see if the issue gets resolved if once we pass that. So let us use the updated file. So I'm putting the updated sheet and converting it into an XPT file. Now let us close this previous one. Let's remove the previous XPT file and then select the updated XPT file. And now let's click on validate. So earlier there was message related to null value in sex variable, which is a required variable. Now, if everything goes fine, it should get fixed. I think earlier there were 12 messages. Now there are 11. Let's hope and see uh, if that mes uh, message got resolved. So if we now go to the detail sheet, so there were around four rows for DM earlier. We are not uh, checking about these issues in this video, but the other issue which we were looking for is null value in X sex variable, which is marked as required is now resolved in the updated data set. So this is how you can resolve such issues. So even if the data management team fails to give you the information till the end of the study, so you would have to explain it in the CSDRG and why that information is missing. So thank you for watching and keep learning.